Hey, I'm Phil Eichmiller. Phil is a senior QA engineer on the Autodesk Fusion team and is an expert at teaching Fusion. Okay, hey, hold on, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place it. I'm going to... Could someone please explain how to extrude this sketch? I traced around my piece, and I'm assuming Fusion 360 constrained every line, but I cannot extrude. This is driving me insane. Okay, it's, it's a little hard to tell what's going on there, and there's actually some good advice in the thread. I think there's a couple of things missing that I would like to add to this. So let's first of all just take a look quickly at, at what it means when you're using splines. Splines themselves, um, they're kind of these plasticky lines, right? So when you do this sort of thing, they, they rubber band around. I like to call it rubber banding. They have, they have what you would call it's a form of tension, really. It's like, think of it as like an elastic tension. And you know, the closer the points are together, you can see that the closer together they are, the tighter you can turn a corner. And the further apart they are, the more this sort of natural stretchy tension there is. Let's get closer to what is being shown in the post, which is, you know, something that kind of approximates this where there's, there's one point and then some curvature happens. And so there's this really tight array of points carefully laid out to make like some curvature happen. And you can be very careful. I, you know, I didn't intend for this to be wiggly, but you can see what happens when you when you put spline points too close together, which you should only do if you're intending to turn a corner very sharply, that's, that's the reason, you lose that tension. All that tension becomes microscopic, right? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. You could just start deleting these sketch points. I'm just selecting them and hitting delete. Uh, you notice that I'm gonna retain the shape I'm making, right? I'm not deleting all of them. I'm just deleting enough to build in some of that tension again and get this thing to be smoother. Let me undo that one. See how this just sort of flattens out? There's too much control there. You hit delete and it starts to make a nice smooth round surface. So it's not trying to change direction too quickly. And um, you get that, that elastic tension. All right, so if I zoom out now, instead of having a hundred of these things, you know, maybe there's just a few. And here where I need to turn the corner faster, there's a couple of more closer together. All right, so that's, that's just using splines in general. Um, I see this with people trying to do a guitar. They bring in a picture of a guitar and they'll go blah, 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 blah. They think they have to get so close. Your design will be smoother the further apart those points are in a spline. Let's put it that way. I'm gonna actually answer the other question here, which is, hey, this thing isn't closed. And, and this is what I suspect is going on. I'm zooming in down to the micron level here. You, if, you, if I measure this, it's just ridiculously small. Um, this is, you know, like a human hair, a tenth of a human hair apart. So when I zoom all the way out, Fusion shows us, let's see, connected points are black. There's a black one down there. Not connected points are white. So first thing you do is you look for the not connected points. There's a cheap trick that I like to pull which is you do the crisscross and more crisscross applesauce. You can't get away from it, ka -ching. Right here. You start isolating all the sketch points until you figure out a, a region that won't, that won't compute the profile. So what I did was I just, I just made it, I forced it to compute a profile by drawing crisscross lines across it and isolating the points. When I did that, this one becomes obviously, it's, it's the white points. So this also, you can see this line here is floating, so it has a white endpoint. And that lets you, you know, zoom in and down to that, that micron level if you need to. Um, but when you're zoomed out like this, you can also just uh, tell it that you want to be co coincident and window it in. It'll figure it out. That's, that's just one, one little tip there and um, you, you have a closed profile. There you go.